Well, hello there, friends. Very simple recipe today of sweet potatoes. They got the rum raisin and an orange glaze. Delicious. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making sweet potatoes together. Well, hello there, friends. This has to be one of the easiest recipes I will ever show you how to make. Sweet potato. Really, really simple. I love making them. This is my traditional Thanksgiving uh, sweet potato recipe. We take the potato, we cut them with a, a, a crinkle cut. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then I put them in boiling water until they're cooked. You see, and they're 95% cooked. If we can explain what 95% cooked is, almost cooked, okay? <laughs> when you test them, if you say, oh, they could stay a little bit longer, oh, take them out. Put them on a cookie sheet, let them cool, and then you put them in a, a pie shell, put them in whatever you got to make it look good, and we're gonna put a glaze on it. That's all we're gonna do. It's so simple, right? And, and uh, in the glaze, Frank, we're gonna put a little bit of butter. We like butter, you know that, right? If this is a channel where we glorify butter. <laughs> butter is good for you. And then we're gonna put um, we're gonna put a little bit of orange juice. So far, so good, right? Butter, orange juice, <laughs> right? And then a little bit of uh, orange concentrate. You get that in the frozen department of your grocery store. Orange concentrate. It's uh, it's uh, it comes in frozen, and um, right. And now this is very sweet. I got the orange juice that is sweet. I got the. Um, the, the orange concentrate is even sweeter, and I'm even gonna put now some um, uh, uh, orange blossom honey. And um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put orange blossom honey. Here we go. Orange blossom honey. <laughs> now, now imagine how sweet I'm gonna be now. Way too sweet, right? So what could I do? Well, I could put some lemon juice, or if you have it, a good balsamic vinegar. I got a white wine, white balsamic vinegar. And it's very acid. Don't use the white vinegar, the one you do the floor and the window is. No, don't cook with that, please. Put lemon juice in there, or put a white wine vinegar. But no, no white vinegar. Mama me, that stuff will, uh, will kill you. <laughs> They clean, that's where they clean window and floor is. You know, you got rust on the screw, you put them in a the white vinegar the next day, they got no more screws, forget about the rust. <laughs> All right, friends, enough talking. Oh, little vanilla. I like to put a little bit of Tahitian vanilla. Tahitian vanilla, very little now, Be careful, that stuff is strong also. And, um, right, so, so, so far so good, right, you with me? You with me, that's not complicated, right? I'm gonna show you now, friends, how to cut the potatoes. I like to make a little flat surface on it, cause, and then I get this crinkle cut knife. You get that online, boom, you see you cut it, and then you take the potatoes and you flip it on the other side so it looks better, but boom. You see, look, you see a child could do this. Take it, flip it again, boom, that's it, see? It's simple, isn't it? Be careful now, those knives are dangerous, don't let the kids play with it. Anyway, you can do this, <coughs> Excuse me, put them in, in boiling water and cook them until they're done, okay? Pretty simple, right? Now a glaze. I'm telling you, when I tell you this recipe is gonna be so simple, you're not gonna believe it, friends. We're gonna put a little bit of black pepper. We're gonna put a little salt in there. And the recipe was, uh, it's just for two potatoes. This is for two potatoes uh, that I cut like this. If they, were, they were not that big, because one big potato would do it. That's enough for, for four people right there. If you have more people for Thanksgiving, you want to do as much potato as you need and put them in a lasagna pan. And, and uh, line them up nice in a lasagna pan, it'd be great, right? So now I gotta make them stick to the potatoes. What could I use to make them stick on the potatoes? Little cornstarch, friends. You see, I got a cornstarch diluted in water right there. We could add a little bit of orange juice in there too. Make it more interesting, right? And then I'm gonna put some Parmigiano Reggiano on top of it. I'm telling you, you know, you're not gonna go, you're gonna say, man, he's doing a recipe for us that is so simple. 
Well, I can't give you just complicated recipe, especially for Thanksgiving, right? A little bit of, th be careful now with this thing. This thing. <laughs> that would be the cornstarch slurry. Be careful with this, this. Lower the heat, lower the heat. And I put enough so we have a little bit of a glaze here, okay? A little bit of a glaze, that's all. You see? And when it's glazy enough, <laughs> glazy enough, is that a word? I don't think so. I am making it up. Well, right, we're done. Oh, you know what I'm gonna add also, friends? My raisins, they've been marinated in rum since last year. <laughs> it's true, I'm not kidding. If you don't have them marinated in rum because you were with me last year, uh, put them uh, in, uh, in a bowl with a little rum or whatever you want. Those are good for the kids in the morning, I'm telling you. You give them a nice uh, cereal bowl with some rum raisins, they're gonna have a great day at school. Mama had a great day at school. So anyway, uh, <laughs> God bless you. Um, um, yeah, so if you, if you don't have them, you know, I have them, I put them in a cooler, in a fridge, and, and they stay like that all year. If you forgot to do them, um, you can put them in a glass bowl with a little rum and put them in the microwave oven for a minute or two. That will plump them up. See, they're plump. All right, we're gonna put little raisins in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little raisins, where's my whisk? Whisk it in, you see, right? And then, and then a little more butter, right? A little more butter, right? Turn the heat off, make sure the heat is not on. Let me tell you something, friends. You're not gonna believe how easy it is to make this. Put it in a lasagna pan. That'll give you an extra dish to serve for Thanksgiving. And a child could do this. You don't have the raisin? Yeah, don't put them in. You don't have them. <laughs> you don't have to put them in if you don't have them. Right? It's not like, oh, I can't make the recipe, I don't have the raisin. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine without it, friends. This is, you know, like I tell everybody, we're not sending a man on the moon, eh? And look at this, see? Look at this, friends. I'm telling you, this is the simplest recipe you'll ever make for sweet potatoes. And it's impressive and it's quite delicious. You know, I, you, I made them one time with a baby marshmallow also on top of it instead of the raisins. And then you bake them with a baby marshmallow in it. Let me tell you, you're going to love this. And look at it. A child could do this. Take a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, right there, friends, and pop them in the oven. You got an oven, 375, pop them in the oven. When they come out of the oven, put a, a little bit of par fresh parsley in there. I'm going to pop them in the oven, and when they're beautiful, nice, ready to go, we're going to take them out, and we're going to eat them, friends. Here it is. Voila. They're in the oven. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I told you it was going to be fast. Okay, friends. I'm gonna take them out of the oven. Whew, be careful, that's hot. You see, it don't take that long, that long really, but it takes a little while. You want a nice little gratin on there, friends. And then look, a little bit of chopped parsley in it, and, and, and bam, voila, look at that, beautiful, you see? You don't need a lot. This is it, you can put some fresh grated Parmesan cheese in there if you want. But right there, this is all I want. I think it's fresh, it's beautiful, it was so simple to make, right? So I'm gonna let them cool a little bit and then we're gonna get into it. Okay, friends, make sure you wait. You know, it's a good dish because you can make it way in advance. Because it's gonna stay hot for a long, long time. And, uh, and you'll see, they're just perfect. Now, if you like them very soft, then you cook them until they're completely soft. Otherwise, just enough in the, in the oven and... Mmm. Uh, they're delicious. Mmm. The, uh, the orange juice is still very present, but not sweet because of the vinegar. So remember, if you don't have any balsamic vinegar, just put a little lemon juice in there. You gotta offset that sweet. At the end of the day, you don't want it to be a sweet dish. You don't want to be a nice, glazy, uh, perfect balance between uh, a sweet and sour. Friends, I hope you make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next few days for another fantastic videos.